Hey everybody, what's going on? So I'm gonna do a quick video on how to create a custom card from the home screen when you log into your system. We're just gonna click on this button that says create cards. We have seven different types of cards. And today we're gonna to be working with the five by seven greeting card with a custom envelope. So I'm gonna start from scratch. We have the landscape layout or the portrait layout. We're gonna work with a landscape today. We're just going to call this a demo card. You can name this whatever you want, whatever system works best for your personal organizational setup. And what's great about our system is it's pretty consistent across all projects. Whenever you go to edit or create something, the project you're working on is going to be in the center here. The saving and previewing options are over here on the right. And then the options to actually create whatever it is you're creating are over here on the left. So because it's a card, I want to add an image to the front of the card. You can tell that I'm uh, working on this part because it's highlighted in blue. And what's also cool about our system is it syncs with Facebook and Instagram. So you don't need to worry about downloading and uploading and what did I call that file and where did it get saved again? I can just click on my Facebook and come in here to my cover photos. And again, because this is highlighted, anytime I click a an image it's just gonna pop it in there automatically right so I can just click around until I find an image I like I like this image here and I want to add some text to it so I just click on the text button and then add empty text box and I'm just type away hi bracket bracket first name there's one of those merge fields there are training videos on those it's one of the most powerful features of our system so make sure to check those out as well we're going to change the color. Uh, well, I'll start from the top. If you wanted to change the font, you could do that here. Uh, so we can just go ahead and just pick a different font there. And uh, if I want to make it a little bit bigger, I do it like that. You bold, italic, or underline, you do that here. You can change the justification with these buttons. Change the color. I like it to match the cloud, so we do that. But then we also have all these different color options here. And if I wanted to add an outline, which I will for the demonstration, uh, I click small and uh, I want it to be a black outline. Easy peasy. Then um, if I wanted to uh, move the, the text box itself around, I just click on this button here and it opens a little cross and then you can see I can put this wherever I want. And, uh, if you notice that purple snap line shows up, what that means is it's going to keep this phrase centered in the card regardless of how big the name is. So if it's a little name like Tim, like a short name, then it'll it'll adjust this over so it stays centered. If it's a longer name like Christopher, then it'll adjust it a little to the left. So the purple snap line just means it's going to keep that centered on the card. Then at the bottom, it tells you which part of the card we're working on and if you wanted to move around to different parts of the card you can either use the arrows on either side or the pop-up menu there's the inside top inside bottom back envelope you can just go to the specific page so we're going to go to the inside top now and i want to show you that this layout button here these are all pre-set photo layouts that you can just click on any of them and it's just going to add it to the card automatically. So I like this one. I like to keep it simple. Also, if you ever wanted to delete an element, all you do is just select the element. Again, you can tell you're working on it because it's highlighted here with the blue box around it, right? You just click delete and it gets rid of it. And click on this image here. And we're gonna add another photo. This is just me being silly a couple years ago. Then we're gonna go to the inside bottom of the card. We'll add a little bit more text here and we're just gonna say hi, bracket, bracket, first name, bracket, bracket. Thanks so much for watching the uh, training video. Uh, we are jumping for joy that you are with us. Education and humor today. Um, all the best, comma. So then I just can click on this text button here and it's going to open the text editing menu again. So if I, same thing, if I wanted to change the text, um, uh, I could do that here. Uh, if I want to change the size, I do that here. Bold, italic, underline, change the justification. We'll make it blue just for the sake of the, the training video. No outline today, but then over here, we'll come down here. If I wanted to add a background, which I do, 
we have all these different options for different styles and I like these gradients so we'll click the orange one today and if I wanted to change the color of the gradient I do that up here if I wanted to delete it completely I do that here or if I wanted to apply it to all of the surfaces of the card I could do that here we're just gonna leave it on the one surface for now though and I'll just show you how this works so let's say I wanted to add like a, a lighter purple then it you know so I can make it look just exactly the way I want it to look now another pro tip I have gone ahead and uploaded my signature as a PNG file and then removed the background there is a training video on that so make sure to check that out what's cool about that is I can drag the signature over and um, if I click this pan zoom then this little box here you can do this with any image if I click on that box what it does is it makes the image stay completely within the confines of that box which means I don't need to worry about accidentally trimming off part of my signature or whatever it's all just gonna stay there so then I'm gonna move this over here what's cool about this too is there's this little spinny thing which I'll turn a little bit now it's gonna look like uh, I've actually signed the card um, and one thing to note whenever these scissors show up what it's telling you is that part of this box is not within the printable area of the card and it may get cut off so depending on which part of the box it is like for me I'm not too worried about this one because it's just that tiny little corner and it's not going to affect the uh, signature showing up however I can minimize the box a little bit so that it's all now you can see it's all within that light light blue line there and the scissors go away because nothing's going to get cut off so that's pretty cool to note then we're going to go over here to the back of the card and we're going to add a little bit of clip art here i like to just add this little love thing i mean who doesn't need more love in their life right even if you think you have all you need you can always have a little bit more right so now you can see these green snap lines are going to keep this element whatever it is if it's a photo or the clip art or text or whatever it is it will just keep it locked in place in the center of the card so really convenient you don't need to eyeball it the system tells you when it's in the center and then this with this particular type of card this is my favorite part it's the envelope and what I love about our system is it reserves the space for the return address as well as the recipient address so you don't need to worry about that and you can add any photo text JPEG PNG you can make it look exactly the way you want it so I'm gonna drag this photo over here this is a very convenient button I use a lot you just click it and boom it makes the whole thing the background and then we'll go ahead and add uh, this person's name in addition to it being addressed to them I also want to call them out specifically on the cover of the card as a, an extra emphasis right and then there's that spinny thing that's a technical term spinny thing by the way and <laughs> we're gonna make this a little bit bigger and we're gonna make it red so it really stands out on the card and uh, here's the thing depending on who you talk to email has between a 5 and an 11% open rate and ask yourself this question do you really want one more email are you really gonna read it right consider that as compared to going to the mailbox getting a greeting card that's addressed to you that has an image like this on the cover as well as your name on the cover of the envelope now imagine how your clients will feel when they receive something like this from you they're they're gonna open the card they're going to read your message what that means is your marketing message will get through which means that you or marketing dollars will be more effective which means you're gonna have more sales and make more money it's pretty straightforward right really really powerful uh, tool and a simple to use system so once you've designed the card if you wanted to preview it you just click the preview button here same thing this is the front of the card this is the inside top inside bottom back of the card the envelope and then if I wanted to just add it to the cart and send it out to somebody immediately I could do that just click add to cart here or once I save it it'll go into my saved projects and then I can add it to a campaign or um, it just lives there so that I can use it over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over again uh, so that is a quick tutorial on how to create a custom card in the mailbox power system. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, now go use our system and give somebody an awesome day. Thanks so much.